there, it's Cecilia Jane, and today we are going to be reviewing the Maya slash Hemi gouache palette. Hi there, um, I just wanted to quickly interrupt and say that all the basement type noises you'll be hearing throughout this video are because I film and create art in this basement. Um, I know it's really annoying, I'm sorry, I can't really do much about it, so. First things first, there's a few things I'd like to address. Um, you may formally know me as Art by C. Um, I actually am in the process of maybe like rebranding or changing that just because um, people got confused. It's Art by C and people would think it's Art Ice, which I um, wasn't a huge fan of, so I kind of want to try to change it. So let me know what you think of Cecilia Jane. <laughs> I just thought it was kind of cute. So Another thing is periodically just in this intro while I'm talking, you may see my hands and they're kind of dry and cracked. Um, Sorry about that, they're a lot better than the actual video. And so with all that said, now let's actually get into what we are going to be reviewing. So this is the Maya Gouache Paint Set, 18 colors, 30 milliliters, unique jelly cup design, portable case with palette for artists, students, gouache watercolor palette in pink. Um, so that's actually just the name on Amazon and I will put a little box here with like the Amazon and everything. Um, the reason I say Hemi as well is because it says Hemi right here. So yeah, that's actually what we're going to be reviewing today. I've seen a lot of reviews around this, like circling around, so I thought I would kind of jump on the bandwagon. <laughs> it's a really unique product, so I thought it'd be interesting to do a review on. And another quick little bit is just for the first part of the video where I am doing my first impressions and the swatches, I was super sick. <coughs> This was filmed a while ago. Um, I it gets better towards the end of the video, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the review. So I actually got the idea to review this palette and actually purchase it from a YouTuber named Scar Rose, and I'll put the video in the description and everything. Um, she does a really nice, thorough review. So if you want more thoughts on it, definitely head over to that video on her channel and check it out. Like I said, it's done really nice and thoroughly. Um, my review <laughs> will probably be a little more casual. Like I said, I'm pretty sick, but I do want to play around with this and see what I think about it. And as always, I'm sorry I haven't been creating videos um, very often. I've been busy with school and work and life and yeah. So my first like initial impression was like, holy crap, this thing is huge and it's like decently heavy. Just to give you guys some comparison, this is the Windsor Newton, what is it, 246, 810, 12, 14, 14 colors. Oh my gosh, this thing is so gross. I've had this thing like probably six years now, probably since like freshman year of high school. Um, and I've actually never replaced the color. <laughs> um, but yeah, so to give you a sense of size, like this is a pretty nice size, and then this thing is freaking huge in comparison pretty pretty thick as well so um, I don't know how like travel convenient it's gonna be but you know you are getting a lot of gouache so like, each each tub is 30 milliliters that's pretty big I'm gonna zoom this up just a little more alright so first it's pink there was different colors you could get like a mint um, there's like a little dog on it and this is reflective and then the back is like segmented and so it's pretty hard to lift up oh my god okay it just completely falls off i guess it was both sides were clipped and then looks like you have a little palette too which is kind of weird i would think they would just like glue that in but i guess you can keep it in there oh Interesting. All right, and then <laughs> as I watched in our video, you have to take each one out and take this off. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. Um, first, let's look at the colors really quickly. So we got like a nice green. Uh, I don't know how it's appearing on camera, but it's kind of a pretty neutral green. Maybe a little bit more of a blue green. I like a chocolate pudding brown. A sort of like straight like chocolate pudding. Here's another green. This is honestly pretty similar. It's a little darker. These are cute. They do feel like little jelly containers. Like you're gonna open up some jelly. This is a really pretty like turquoise blue. Uh, 
This is a nice like cerulean blue, sky blue, white. We got black. This looks like a purple or cobalt blue kind of. So far, these are the kind of blues we got. A dark cobalt blue, a, what is that? I don't know, like a royal blue and then like a cerulean blue. We got a nice poppin' purple. All right, we got a orangey yellow, orangey yellow. Another white, really pretty similar. But that's cool, I use a lot of white, so that's nice. And I think you can get refills too, so that's nice. That's good that they included a nice yellow. Oh cool, got like a yellow ochre. Nice. Okay, this is like kind of a raw, like a burnt sienna raw, not raw ochre, burnt sienna, I don't know. I just started learning color names because I'm taking painting, which I've been painting forever, but with oil painting you actually kind of learn the oil names. It's like dark red, alizarin crimson. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice red. This is like, I like to wear a lot of red when I dress, like my fashion. <laughs> that's a good red. And we got like a really nice pink, so that's cool. This kind of looks like an ice cube tray. You could double it as an ice cube tray. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put these in order really quickly. So far I'm like really excited with, oh, my cats are like meowing in the background nonstop. But so far I'm really excited with what we got so far. These look really cool. I'm excited to try them out. Hi. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and take all the caps off all these. And then put them in order probably too. Can you get down? I feel like when you flip it over all these paints are just like, like I feel like when you put everything in the palette and if you like move the palette around, it's just gonna all fall out. Um, I could be wrong, but I could see that being a problem. So, um, probably test that out, see if it is, and then I can deal with it instead of you guys. So that took a good, um, I'd say 10 to 15 minutes just taking those off, but you could probably do it a little quicker. I was just trying to be somewhat neat about it, but, and really quickly, let me talk about why I arranged my palette the way I did, so that if you purchase this, you can have some idea of how to arrange it and maybe why. I like my whites up here just because I think that that's nice. And then obviously I arranged it like, um, I was about to say alphabetically, <laughs> rainbow, so pinks, reds, orange, yellow, green, blues, purples, and then I have my like neutral colors, so like yellow ochre, like the burnt sienna, and the brown, the black. So that's kind of just how I organize this. Um, it's really like fun to look at because it just looks like a big paint palette. Um, Obviously these are gouaches, so they're a little different than like, um, like acrylic paint, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. So yeah, again, this thing is pretty heavy, like it's pretty hefty, um, I'll try to find the weight, like put it on the screen, but yeah. Okay, so let's like see what it's like if you put this on, and then let's do the flipping over test, because I'm pretty curious about that. So I'm going to give this a good shake, and I feel like it's going to go absolutely everywhere, so see. Uh, yeah, not terribly, but it definitely did go on to the lid, so I would recommend, um, you know, if you buy this palette, probably try to keep it right side up. But I don't really see this being like a travel palette, um, so I would probably recommend, you know, not putting it in your book bag and having it jingle jingle everywhere. If you did, I'm sure it's not that big of a deal, but I don't know. I probably wouldn't. Probably won't. And I did just put down like a sheet of like poster board or something. So this is gonna get messy. So I'm just warning you guys, it might get a little messy. 
All right, so first, of course, we have to do some swatches. So let's break out our sketchbook and get some clean pages. And then, obviously, with gouache, you know, you do mix it with, like, a little bit of water, so... We're just gonna put some water. Okay, I don't really need to swatch the whites, but let's try them anyways. Yep, look pretty white. I don't think I see a difference between the whites. Yeah, I'm gonna go with no. They do feel really nice and thick. Um, for how cheap they were, you'd kind of expect them to be kind of watery, but they do have like a nice thickness to them. They do kind of do that thing like when you're trying to spread them out, you really see your brush strokes, which can be a little annoying, but it's not too bad. So when I'm making like gradients with gouache, it's usually not with water, it's usually with gouache in another color. So I'll try that after this, but I think it's kind of weird sometimes when we're reviewing gouache and we do like gouache to water because I use gouache more as like a acrylic paint where I really mix it with more paint instead of water. I mean, I do mix it with water, but I prefer it more when it's like put on thicker. I personally use it more that way, so that's gonna be more like what I'm gonna be looking for. So I just smelled these really quickly and they kind of remind me of the smell of like tempera paint you use like when you were a child like those little like tubes of like Crayola paint. Um, I'll try to put one on the screen but that's kind of what they smell like. Obviously they don't behave like that but how funny would that be if they just put like little things of Crayola paint in here. Okay, so here are the swatches. Um, overall, I'm like super impressed with the colors. I think they're really fun. Um, like I said, I think some of the colors were kind of like an odd choice. Like the, uh, I think these greens were a little, a little too similar, maybe. Um, I think that if they were gonna put like a bluer. I don't know, this is kind of like an odd color. Like I said, it's kind of like a sea foam. It's that one right there, like a darker sea foam. Um, I just think it's kind of like an odd choice to put, but that's okay. Um, I also think the magenta is a bit weird as well, but I just, I'm happy that they included a pink and actually included so many colors as well, especially, again, for the price. And earlier I said something about how it's like 18 colors, but you can think of it more as 16 colors because there are two whites but like i said i i don't know some people might be unhappy that they included two two whites and probably want like a, another color instead but i actually like the fact that they included two whites because i use a lot of white like i'll probably go through it so quickly so i don't mind that okay so here is the gradient i achieved and hopefully you can see that okay um I'd say it does a pretty nice gradient. I think gradients and gouache are kind of difficult just because they dry differently than other paints, but um, I do think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna try another one with two colors that are different like hues or different shades. So I'm gonna choose like this red dark and then this, mm, yeah, let's go with this bright yellow. Might be interesting. Okay, so that's what we have for the yellow and the red. Again, I think it does a pretty good job as far as gouache is concerned. Gouache is just kind of weird to work with in general. Kind of takes a little bit of time to get used to it and know how to work with it, so. All right, again, I wanted to see if I can make like a popping red, like I mentioned, with that orange and that yellow. So let's see real quickly. So I'm just not too happy with the selection of reds, but again, I am biased because I love red. Yeah, I would say it's safe to assume you can make a pretty decent red um, that's kind of in between those two colors. So I'm just going to play around with these a little bit on this side of the sketchbook, get a little bit more used to them, and then we'll try to like make a nice piece with them. They're kind of so big and awkward, you don't really know where to put them. <laughs> okay, um, can't really find anything to get inspiration, so I'm just going to start like painting food. So let's see what happens. 
So my video actually kind of cuts out here, but I didn't really play around with it that much. I kind of just jumped into the finished piece, but I do give my thoughts throughout, so. Okay, so it's actually been <laughs> a few weeks since I filmed that intro, um, and I've actually gotten a lot of time to use these and kind of see my opinion of them. I am re wetting them frequently with this spray bottle. Um, I actually left them open the other day on accident, so I just re wet it with this because they are water soluble. And so, even though I do have my opinions on these kind of already, I do still want to film like me making something and then I'll kind of talk about my final um, opinions. So, really quickly, the background for this piece. Um, I have a Patreon, as some of you may know. Check it out if you want. I'll put it in the description. Um, I don't know why I was like pointing over there, but <laughs> um, so my theme is the human body, and I'll post like I'll put the stickers that I'm gonna do right here. So if you want those, make sure to join for January. This is gonna be January's theme, the human body. So I thought um, I was gonna do the idea of like a chest. So like boobs <laughs> with smiley face stickers on them. I just thought I've always like had that idea and I just thought it'd be kind of fun. But yeah, I'm just gonna get started. So this is gonna be kind of like a time lapse. So yeah. So pretty much everything I have to say about these gouaches has already been said or it will be said at the end of the video. So I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy this time lapse with um, music or you can put on your own music. Also just really quickly do check out my Patreon if you like this design or those sticker designs. I change the designs every month um, and you guys can vote on themes and such if you're a Patreon so definitely check it out. Okay, so here is the finished piece. Overall, I am pretty happy with it. Um, now I'm gonna kinda go into my thoughts on this gouache. So, the number one main thing that kind of gets annoying is um, when you're piling it on, it seems to dry super fast. So it makes it a little difficult um, for blending. Now, if you're filling in an area completely, like if you're doing the kind of art where it's just like fill in and then a shadow instead of more blending, you should be okay. Um, with this, I went with more of like, as you can see, some brush strokey kind of textured, um, textured painting. You're, you're not gonna get something super smooth with this gouache, but honestly, with most gouache, you don't, you can't really get anything like super smooth, but they're, um, you know, with every medium, it has its its pros and its cons, and that's kind of a con of gouache is you can't get it smooth, but that's also kind of a pro if you think about it, because you can get fun textured effects. So, um, another little thing I noticed is I'm really happy that they included two whites, because as you can see, um, I'm like kind of already hitting pan or whatever on this first white, but I use a lot of white in general and as you can see this piece is very, I mix a lot of white in with everything to create the colors. Um, I know I mentioned this when I was swatching it, but I do think like some of the colors are kind of odd, like this color for example, the seafoam green, just feels kind of weird to put in there. I would have liked to see like, um, 
I don't know, maybe just not that exact kind of green. Same with the blues, like, I don't know, like, these are some nice blues, but, um, I don't know, I feel like these blues are all very, like, drastically different from one another, which is totally okay and maybe better to some people, but, um, if you want to have, like, a more cohesive palette, you know, you try to put colors that are kind of similar, but I, I don't mind the range of motion. It's kind of nice. You can do more with it, and obviously you've got 18 colors. Two of them are white and one's black, but... So you do have a little bit of more flexibility. Obviously this um, palette is not portable. Very, it's very big. It's pretty heavy. Another thing too is we talked about how if you flipped it over, all of them fall all into the front. I think I showed that. I can't remember so while, so long ago. And then like I said, since I did, you know, you keep this open when you're using it, it does, it has cracked a little bit in some I think you can see that in some areas, but honestly, you just put a little bit of water on it, and it's it's back to back to good. Um, that's the nice thing about like a water soluble gouache is that you can just reactivate it with water. Um, overall, I think the texture is pretty nice. Like I said, the the biggest thing is just kind of how I I don't know exactly if I talked about this, but kind of like. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some parts where the gouache kept picking up kind of like an expo marker effect where um, you would put some on and then it would take off the layer underneath it. So that got a little annoying, but like I said, I think that's pretty common with most gouache. So I don't think that's particularly this guy's fault. Um, but yeah, honestly, for the price and everything, I'm super impressed and I will continue to use this. I just think it's super fun and the format the gouache is in, kind of like pans, is really unique. So yeah, I would definitely recommend buying this, um, even as like a starter set because you got a lot of colors. It gives you a good feel of gouache. Um, yeah, and you got a lot of products, so that's super nice. So, yeah, if you have any comments, um, please put them down below. We can talk about this palette if you've ever tried it or if you have any questions on it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for another video, you know, please tell me. And make sure to subscribe. Yeah. Bye, guys.